What's up, YouTube? Not so Team Fair. So today, back with something kind of different. But I mean, I've done these here before on my on the channel, which is Yu-Gi-Oh. Because I like playing Yu-Gi-Oh, and I mean, there's probably a ton of people that also play Yu-Gi-Oh on addition to Vanguard. And I just want to show this deck off because honestly, th like, I, I love this deck so much. I kind of featured this deck before, but I. I got an idea from watching, if any of you know Simo, from, he's a huge YouTuber, um, he mentioned something and I, like, I got the dumbest idea and at first this was just like, let's see what happens and then this ended up being, oh my gosh, what the hell, this is hella stupid, I'm gonna do this. Um, I don't know what to call this deck, Phantom Knight, Silent, Phantom Knights I guess? I don't even know. Um, what well, this deck is dumb. Everything. Oh my gosh. So anyway, this is a Silent Phantom Knight plants. Um, he mentioned like new cards coming out on the new uh, boost set for Yu-Gi-Oh that was just released, and he mentioned, oh, you can totally throw Silent Swordsman and Phantom and PK Fire, and it works because Phantom Knights are all warriors. And I was like, yo. So anyway, let me get into it. Um. So we run three Silent Swords from level seven. Um, his effect is he can't be fast summoned except by the effect of Silent Swords level five. But that doesn't matter. You're gonna you're gonna summon it ignoring summoning conditions. The main effect is as long as this card remains face up on the on your side of the field, they get the effect of all spell cards. So basically, shut off spell cards. No pendul um, pendulums can still activate, but no pendulum effects. No spell cards. Ah, uh, it's so freaking good oh my gosh like it just some decks just straight up lose i mean you can still activate them but you have like no regekis none of that like oh it's so good we run two riding because riding mill stuff he's a tuner so he gets places to do dumb synchro plays um he's really really good and also he's a warrior just throwing it out there and then we run three silent swordsmen so this card can't be normal summons or set. It has to be special summon from your hand by tributing a warrior monster, and you can't special summon any other way. This card's the start of the deck. Um, once returned during the standby phase, it gains 500 attack. So it gains 500 attack during your standby phase and during your opponent's standby phase. And once returned during other players' turn, when this full card is activated, you can negate the activation. And if you and just you can negate the activation, um, you don't destroy it. But I mean, it doesn't really matter. So, stops Pendulum, stops any, like, it's, it's so good. Um, and if this card is destroyed by battle, or by Grunt's card effect, you can spell summon a Silent Swordsman from your hand or deck, ignoring summoning conditions. So basically, as soon as, he, when he dies, you get him out. It's so ridiculous, and his attack power just keeps going up so fast. It's insane. Don't even run one Electromagnetic Turtle, because it just protects everything. Um, during your opponent's battle phase, banish it from the grave and the battle phase. You can only use this effect once per turn, once per duel, but I mean, you know. One Birdman, because the Birdman combos with, uh, with Silent Boots, and it, it, it's real. And it, it, it's a good, it, it lets you do things, it lets you, um, you can like summon a Phantom Knight, spell summon Silent Boots, bounce it back with Birdman, and then you still have your Silent Boots. Or you can bounce back the card, you, the fan that you originally summoned, if you want to, I mean. And you have a rank 3 play right there. One, uh, Ragged Gloves, because I don't have space for any more. Because, oh my gosh, I wish I had five for more, but I don't. Uh, three, uh, Dusty Robe. Dusty Robe, uh, he lets you search out whatever you want, essentially, so it's, it, it's too good. It lets you search out whatever you want. Uh, two Card Trooper. Card Trooper lets you mill a bunch of stuff. So it's nice. It's also level 3, and it floats on destruction, which is also really nice. Uh, one Dandelion, because Dandelion's, it's too good. Um, you mill, you want to mill a lot with this deck, too. You have Raiden, you have Card Trooper, so... I wanted other things I could activate in the graveyard. Um, three Silent Boots. Silent Boots, you have another Phantom Knight, you can just spell spe summon it. And you can banish it from Grave to get any Phantom Knight Spell or Trap. Um, so it's really, really good, too. One Spore, because you have Dandelion, and one Glow Bulb, because, you know... And then we have one one for one because we have Spore and Glow Bulb to get out from it, so it's pretty good. Regeki, because, I mean, it's Regeki. Reinforcing the army because you can search out all the fan knights. 
You could search out writing, and you could search out Silent Swordsman. Because Silent Swordsman is so good. I can't emphasize how good he is. Uh, one Soul Charge, because Soul Charge is too good. One Foolish Burial, because you can send any of your Phantom Knights to the grave, or Dandelion, Spore, Glow Up, or even Electromagic Eternal if you need to. <coughs> one fan Rank Up Magic, the Phantom Knights of Launch. Uh, I only run one, because you can search it out with this. You can search it out with this. So, I mean, you know, you only need one. Um, this lets you do... This lets you do degenerate things that I'll get into. Uh, but some of the more informed of you might already be able to see the degenerate plan I'm talking about. Um, basically, you target a Dark Xyz that has no Xyz material. And then you rank it up into any other Dark Xyz that's one rank higher. So you can... Uh, I guess I'll go into it now. You can rank up this, you know, this this card. This fan light card that can be brought back with any of these. And you can rank it up into something like this. <laughs> Which is dumb. It's a dumb thing you can do. So you can just shut out Searing Dex from just making plays. I mean, you summon this against Cosmo, I mean, what are they going to do? Like, they have nothing. There's nothing. Cosmo just loses this card instantly. Because, I mean, what, are they going to normal summon Dark Destroyer? Pfft. Yeah, okay. Um, that, that ain't happening. Um, so it lets you do degenerate things, and it's hilarious. Uh, what, three Silent Sword. Silent Sword is target one Silent Sword from loss you control. Engage with an attack and defense points permanently. Like, it, it just, like, it's permanent. So you can boost him to 25, and then, I mean, at that, and then your opponent's turn will be 30, he'll be 3,000 at that point. I mean, he's gonna be pretty hard to run over, and you're already stopping spell cards, so it's pretty mean. Um, the Silent Sword also gets also unaffected by your opponent's card effects until the end of that turn, but I mean, so you can stop battle traps and stuff if you want to, but no one really plays this anymore. Also, this card's activation effect can't be negated, which is hilarious. So your opponent can't negate it if they would for so- Well, I mean, it does make Silent Swordsman pretty freaking beefy at 3,000, so... I can see why someone- If this um, deck heavily relies on spells, I can definitely see them negating this. Or wanting to negate this. And that's an added bonus, too. You can banish it from your graveyard to get another Silent Swordsman monster from your deck to your hand, so... It's so good, like, oh, it's amazing. Uh, one infestation the pandemic because we weren't Ophion, so we need to be able to search out this card. Um, I mean, sometimes it dead draws, but it's it <sighs> the fact that you can search out Cosmo and like just other decks is so good. It's it's kind of worth it. And I mean, on to the next card, Twin Twisters. You can you can discard it with Twin Twister if you want. You can also discard these with Twin Twister, although although. Um, Silent Swords is going to special summon the Silent Swords from the hand or deck. So if you discard it with Twin Twister, I mean, it's gone, but... You really only need one beefy Silent Swordsman to win the game. I mean, if you have two, it's pr it's it's overkill. I mean, you know. Uh, two break your skill, because we have mill in this deck, and... Stuff, it, it's just a really guard. Let's you negate a bunch of effects. Uh, one Phantom Wing, I wish I could fit more, honestly, because this card... Um... You target one face of monster in the field, and it gave 100 attack points permanently, <laughs> which is really nice. You can boost up Silent Swordsman because he's kind of weak on the first on the first like turn or two, so um, he can get run over pretty easily. And also, the first time that uh, during the turn that you activate the card th that the monster be destroyed by a card effect, or I mean, this period. Oh no, yeah, this period. Um, it's not destroyed, so it lets you protect your monster as well. It's pretty nice. Also, you can power up things like Scar uh, Scarlet, and that's pretty good. Or even Armadis, and that's pretty good. Uh, 3 Fog Blade, that negates anything. Once again, just more negation. Uh, you don't want your opponent to do anything. And then 2 Solemn Notice, or 2 Solemn Strike. I wish I could put a third, but honestly, there are so many things that are in this deck that are just so good. That it, it's hard to find space. But you could argue I could t you could take out a Silent Source in level 7, but... I like having as many targets as I can uh, for his effect. And then for extra, I can run one Quasar because I can make it. Um, it's not that impossible. I mean, I have Spore, Glow Up Bulb, and then I have the token to end the lion. And I mean, I can one for one out the uh, level one tuner. Uh, one Crystal Wing because Crystal Wing's too good. Scarlight because it's too good. Omega because Omega's amazing. It lets you also put these back in your graveyard. So it's pretty nice. Um, one Clear Wing, because Clear Wing's too good. Moonlight, because Moonlight's too good. Um, if you, if Clear Wing can't get over the problem card and you have a level, rank, level 7 synchro play, you Moonlight. Um, Black Rose, because this deck can generate a lot of advantage very, very quickly. And, I mean, you have a bunch of cards that, like, work in the graveyard, so 
even if you kind of like commit stuff to your field, it's your stuff still activates in the graveyard, so it's not a big deal if it gets blown up. Librarian, because librarian, I mean, we run f 10 synchros in this deck, so you know. Uh, Armani's, because it's the best level 5 synchro. Formula, because it lets it go in the quasar, and I mean, it, it can be very helpful at times. Ophion, because the generator plays. Uh, Dark Exceed Rebellion Dragon, because Break Sword secondary effect. Break Sword, because, I mean, you know, Ophion. Uh, Levair, because Levair, you go into Levair a lot more than you would think. Just because it lets you get back things. And then Dante to uh, speed up mill plays, because, you know, I mean, first turn, generally, um, if you, like, have, if you have nothing, you're only first, and you can go for Dante. Dante, I prefer to go for, simply because it, like, it gets things in the graveyard, so it gets the deck going. And, I mean, it's not a bad first turn card, either. Um, but yeah, this is a deck. Obviously, it's not meta. Obviously, PK Fire is probably the better version, but this is just the deck I like to play, because I, I just like playing the deck. Um, I might show off some duels with this deck, because, why not? I, there wasn't that many, out of the things that Cardfight Aid updated on, not many of the clans I play, not many things I play got really many new updates. I mean, there's Messiah, but that's really, and there's the new Royal Paladin G Guardian, and some Gold Paladin stuff, and that's really it. So I might also show off this deck, too. Um, but yeah, anyway, this has been Not Two Size QBFT Fairy Tale. signing out.